Welcome to the Massachusetts State House. You are about to go on a virtual tour of one of the most beautiful buildings in the Commonwealth. Today, we are visiting the Chamber of the House of Representatives. The Chamber of the Massachusetts House of Representatives is one of the most spectacular rooms in the entire State House. It is in this grand chamber that the larger of the two legislative bodies conducts its business. The Speaker of the House, who is elected by his or her fellow representatives, presides from the elevated chair behind the Speaker's podium. The Speaker, other members of the House leadership, the House clerk, and on occasion special guests sit at the front of the chamber in an area called the rostrum, facing the rest of the representatives. A plaque commemorating a speech given by John F. Kennedy days before his presidential inauguration adorns the front of the Speaker's podium. We must always consider, he said, that we shall be as a city upon a hill. The House of Representatives uses an electronic voting system that allows the representatives to vote from their desks. The representatives can vote electronically by pressing either a green yay button or a red nay button. The representative's vote is then shown next to the representative's name on the board at the front of the room, and a tally of the votes is shown at the top of the board. It is the architecture and decor of the house chamber that makes it so breathtaking. The room is paneled with Honduran mahogany. Above the speaker's podium are the Albert Herder murals. This series of murals, entitled Milestones on the Road to Freedom, portray famous scenes that helped to shape the history of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Surrounding the ceiling of the chamber is a cornice that commemorates some of the great men who made important contributions to the Commonwealth and the nation prior to 1895. Some of the most notable names on the marquee include Presidents John Adams, John Quincy Adams, State House architect Charles Bullfinch, and Horace Mann, the father of public education. Above the chamber floor are the House Galleries. The gallery to the left is a special gallery for guests of the House Speaker. The gallery to the right is the press gallery, and the central gallery is open to the general public. Hanging in the center gallery is the famous Sacred Cod of Massachusetts. The five-foot-long pine replica of a North Atlantic cod was given to the House of Representatives in 1784 by a Boston merchant, Jonathan Rowe. It symbolizes the importance of the fishing industry in the early Massachusetts economy. There's also an infamous history surrounding the sacred cod. Rumor has it that when a Harvard student stole the cod in 1933 as a practical joke, the House of Representatives refused to do business without their symbolic mascot and good luck charm. Luckily, the cod was returned a few days later, and business resumed as usual. Whether it is the handsome mahogany woodwork, the historical artistic backdrops, the majestic rostrum, or the mystical presence of the sacred cod, the Chamber of the House of Representatives is truly a sight to behold for anyone visiting the Massachusetts State House.